Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Better about three born, better about three born, better about three born, better about three born. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Better about three born, better about three born, better about three born. I swear these intros get worse and worse every time. First up, the good version of Heavyweight Surgeon General. Surgeon General boasts a 9 and 6 BattleBots record starting with season 2 and going all the way through the Pro Championships in 2009. He's best known for running away from frostbite and then converting to Judaism halfway through the fight. Cradle, cradle. And also nearly losing to Hexadecimator in this bizarre fashion. It was also very common for Surgeon General to take breaks in the middle of fights and then go back and kick his opponent's ass a little longer. Okay, besides the body being a little too thick because I had to incorporate all the parts, that is one good recreation. Damn. Oh god, there's parts everywhere. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, children, look away. Oh god. Oh my god, what are you doing? No, no, okay, definitely look away. Don't, don't. What's happening? It, I, I, I can't see. What's going on? Oh, we got a wheel. Yay! Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Come on, into the cage. Come on. Come on. Go into captivity, come on. There you go. No, don't fall there, shit. No, no fuck, there goes the wheel guard. Come on. Turn. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, oh, hell no. I ain't giving you the satisfaction. I'll just drive into the pit myself. Oh, hell no, man. Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Find myself a new wheel. I'm tired of this shit. Screw this King of the Hill crap. I took off the most parts. I'm the real winner here. Surgeon General hunts down wheels like Leonardo DiCaprio hunts down Oscars. The only difference is Surgeon General gets what he wants. It's about time someone fucking neutered emergency. He's way too horny today. And done! That was easy! I put in more effort when I'm trying to decide if Amy Schumer's hot or not. I mean... Uh, maybe... Uh, you want a wide load? I'll give you a wide load of this dick! Wow, and I thought the intros were bad. So how realistic was the Surgeon General recreation? I think it was pretty fucking good. The appearance was almost top-notch. The weapon took off a lot of parts. The record ratio was pretty good as well. The only thing that wasn't too accurate was that he lost a little bit more parts than he should have. He had wheels taken off, he had the wheel guards taken off, and the saw came off a couple times in fights, which it only happened once to Surgeon General. It's possible I'm being a little harsh, but he's nothing's perfect. But you still get an A. You can be happy about that. And if you're still not convinced that this was a good recreation, then feast your eyes on this picture. This picture came about from the original test session of the bot. Looks a little familiar, doesn't it? The second robot in this episode is the middleweight T-minus. T-minus took the middleweight division by storm, winning with knockout after knockout, until eventually too many bitch slaps from T-rex ended him. His season 4 title run was cut short with one bitch slap from Heavy Metal Noise, until finally he won in season 5, dethroning King Hazard in the process. His BattleBots overall record of 12 and 2 comes with 9 knockouts. Now as you can see, I'm going with the Season 3 and Season 4 format that T-Minus had because building the Season 5 one with the titanium wheel guards and with the flipper that extended a little higher than this one would have been a little bit more difficult to do. As with most flipping bots that I've built, except for Vlad the Impaler, T-Minus struggles to flip. The only reason he did so good in this fight was because of an uneven floor and because of unbalanced robots. Take this for example. I'm constantly hitting the flip button, but I cannot flip fake biohazard. I can only flip when I'm already halfway under the damn robot. And that's kind of easy. Oh shit! The match is over. I forgot that happened. And lift. And lift. Alright, let's try again. And again. And come on. And lift again. There we go, finally. That took too long. I can figure out the plot to Inception faster than that. Come on, we can do this. Oh, come on! Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out, watch out, watch out. Right, come on, just slide it in. Come on, just slip it under him. Nope. No, no, come on. Okay. Come on, get it. Ooh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, I guess I'll take it. No! God, please, no! 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 Oh, yeah, nice work, Razor. Uh oh, retard alert! No, stop. Stop. Stop it! Slip in the shower, you cunt! Nah, I got you now. There we go, I got you now, what? What the fuck? No. So how did the T-minus recreation fare? Eh, it was only average, I'd say. The appearance was pretty good, 
and it did okay in its fights, but obviously the flipper struggled to have a big impact and toss spots well into the air like T-minus was capable of. He also lost a little more fights than he should have, so that brought the win-loss ratio accuracy down. So I'll go with a C. I think that's a fair result for him. Hey, you! Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment on the BattleBot's name below. Frenzy does as much pounding as Johnny Sins. Don't pretend like you don't know who that is. You know exactly who that is, you sick fuck. Alright, show me what you're made of, Hanky Panky. Oh. Is it? Even I don't finish that fast. Wait, what?